Hi folks. Yeah, I just had some music on and um, yeah, beautiful. Just beautiful. First of all, it's that song uh, Too Much Heaven by the Bee Gees, which is just glorious. What an absolutely beautiful, stunning song that is. Just glorious. And next one was um, Something Got Me Started by Simply Red. Again, lovely song. And it just got me thinking, you know, like, it wouldn't it be lovely? It would be absolutely beautiful. If you could be in church and be in a churchy meeting. Right, not the Sunday service necessarily, but even the Sunday service, it wouldn't matter. But you could talk about the fact of how you've been incredibly blessed by the music that we've been honoured, so honoured to have over the years. Yeah, certainly, I mean, for me, I'm, I'm 53. And so, I think, <laughs> yeah, yeah, 53. I, I don't know. I don't really care. Um, but with regards to that, yeah, as I say, my, my elders, they had the 60s and 70s, so I had that influence as I was growing up. Yeah, when they had the radio on, it was always that sort of music that was playing, so you love that. And then, of course, we got the 80s. Oh. Yeah, so it's the 80s, just fantastic. I was watching a video on Mandy Kane Lane, her one doing Idiot Abroad where a uh, car was in Mexico and he had a Depeche Mode song on his headset and it just takes you back straight away just takes you back beautiful um, but as I say just just you know where people just have the chance to say what has really blessed them in life even if what has blessed them is like music which is of the world yeah God has given that some of that God has given, not all of it necessarily, not the ones where, you know, the women are gyrating and, you know, yeah, that, that's, that's purely demonic. <laughs> that's, that's quite bad. Um, but most music is beautiful. Yeah, you know, really beautiful and it, it, it speaks to people and it helps people and it blesses people on their journey. And it's such an incredible shame that we don't have churches now where people could just express their joy at things like that and about how blessed they've been in their life. That even if their life has had tough times, yeah, music has been something that's got them through. Yeah, the fact you can't really share that in church, that, that's horrendous. You can share that churchy music has got you through. Because if, if you're... If you go to church, you've got to be super churchy. And so you, you've got to make everything about churchy, which is just crap. Utter crap. That's even more demonic than the gyrating women in their videos. That's even more demonic than that. It really is. Because if people are trying to be something that they're not, and they don't have the freedom to be them, then that's demonic. That's not God. Not in any way, shape or form. And I was thinking for a second that if I went back to that um, river church, it would be lovely to do that there. And I realised I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Because it wouldn't be received. It wouldn't be received. That They wouldn't want it. Yeah. You've got to have people that are free and have been freed of that in order to, you know, to be able to really express themselves. And when I, when I say really express themselves, I mean really thank God for the for their absolute joyful experiences that they've had in their life that's been connected to music or been connected to you know, a film that they saw. And that film really touched them. Anything... But just to say, like, for me, you know, watching Manchester United play when I was younger and, you know, um, seeing that, seeing the that young group of players come through and be so dominating after all those years, 
when as a fan we saw basic we had we were FA Cup team that's all we were we weren't anything like going for the premiership but then all of a sudden it just happened and as a fan, it, it was just, you know, so as a Man United fan, we had the best football, we had the best music, we had the best movies. <laughs> we were just, as I said before, we were so incredibly blessed with what we had. Now, you could say that in church. If you were the speaker, you could say that. And you might get a few amens during it, but you get mainly silence because it doesn't come across as churchy does it yeah whereas to me if if i was doing that i'd be trying i'd be saying to the people right think i want you to be speaking i want you to come up and share your experiences of really what has blessed you in your life don't make it spiritual don't make it churchy just the things that have really most blessed you. And I guarantee most people would try and make it churchy or spiritual. They would. It would fall flat because they're just trying to... Because what they're trying to do is impress everyone else. Yeah. They've been programmed in church to be a certain way. And well, it's just like... Yeah, I did a video about the Handmaid's Towel. It's basically the same thing. These Handmaid's Towel, these women have been programmed to be a certain way and to not step out of line. And in church, it's so similar. It really is so similar. It's so incredibly sad, it really is. Yeah. But as I say, we have been so incredibly blessed. Yeah, in our time. I mean, if pretty much anyone alive now has had that experience. Although, if you're sort of in your 90s, yeah, you would have started with the um, the bands and the traditional music that was around for hundreds of years. Um, but that's the point. You go back a few hundred years ago, certainly four to five hundred years ago, there was no music. There was no radios. There was no CD players. There was no, you know, didn't have any of that. Yeah, people just don't realise how incredibly blessed they are. When you think about what you now have. Because I say, at the start of radio, what sort of music did you have? You had the sort of um, classical. That's what you had. There was nothing with rhythm or anything like that. Nothing with any soul to it. That came later. But that came at really our time. Yeah, we are a generation that has been so incredibly blessed. I say my generation. People around about my age, we've been so incredibly blessed. To say, I mean, certainly. <laughs> As a Man United fan and as a fan of movies and sort of action -y sort of movies. So I was never really a fan of cowboy movies. They were just, just too American. I mean, certainly as a British person, they had no resemblance to my life or to the life of people that I knew in any way, shape or form. Generally speaking, we don't ride horses. We don't try and bring in the cattle. And... <laughs> We don't get into gunfights very often at all. And so those movies, irrelevant. Yeah, things like car chases. Well, we, we, we know cars. Yeah, we, we've been in cars and roads. Yeah, we know them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, normal sort of um, action, adventure sort of thing. Even superhero ones. Yeah. Well, we've, we've all sort of looked at Superman growing up and... Now you've got the Hulk, you've got all these other characters. Yeah, that was good. We like that. Yeah, that was basically the comics coming alive in movies. Great. So, yeah. We have been it's so incredibly blessed in our time. The younger generation haven't had it too bad because at least they had, they had us as 
uh, dads or granddads, you know, when they were growing up. So they had our music that they still had available to them. But, um, yeah. I think certainly with regards to the arts and with regards to that the stuff coming into us. Yeah, we were the golden generation. I think that is true. I think we were. Yeah. But I mean, having the influences of Motown and the Beatles and the Rolling Stones and all of that coming into the musicians that were of my time when I was a teenager. Yeah. Beautiful. And we need to thank God for that. We need to praise God for that. We need to be aware of that. We need to be so joyful of that. We focus on the struggles. We focus on the things that are difficult. And yeah, we all have difficult. Yeah. Have I truly come to the terms of my family being gone? Completely gone? No. Probably not. But music is probably going to help me to get through it. And it won't just be Christian music either. No. That song, Call Me, is not a Christian song. But it speaks to me, but it's not a Christian song. So, yeah. Be you, be real. And enjoy. And show that joy. Be real in that way, definitely. Yeah. Well, you take care. I'll leave, it. I'll leave you to it now. Yeah, hopefully I'll express what I need to express. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.